Let's move over to our text editor and take a look at how this will all work. Let's say we're going to pull in some text and we're going to call our file handle in and we're going to pull in recipe.txt which is a text file I have in the same directory as our file.pl script. Then we're going to read each of those lines of the recipe.txt file into our script here and we're going to use the special variable to add to another variable that we're going to set up here. We're going to call it contents. So once our for each block is finished, the contents variable will contain the full contents of the recipe.txt file. So then we can close our in file handle. I've left out a comma between the file handle name there and the name of the file that we're reading in. It's very important to include that comma there. So once we've got our contents, what we can do is we can add some more data to the top. We can say recipe and then contents and then recipe ends. Now that we've done that, we can open another file handle to the same file. But this is different because we've included this character here which tells Perl that this is not a file that we're going to use to read from but one we're going to write out to. Then we're going to use a print statement to print to the file handle and we're going to print that contents variable. Finally we're going to close the out file handle. Let's move over to our command line and before we run the script let's have a look at what's in recipe.txt. It's just a short recipe for green curry. Now if we run our file.pl there's no user output but if we have a look at what's in the recipe.txt again the recipe ends has been added to the end of the text file. It's slightly too large to fit on the command line screen but if we did a pipe to more we'd be able to see the recipe appearing there at the top as well. So both pieces of data we've been able to add by overwriting the contents of the file. One final thing I should mention about the output of data into a text file is that depending on the file permissions and file ownership of the file we may find that our Perl script is not able to write out to the text file that we're targeting. In terms of file ownership especially, this is particularly important on Unix systems rather than Windows systems where the file ownership is a lot less systematic and strict. So what we may need to do is to check that this is happening that we've been able to open our file for writing by wrapping this in an if statement and then putting our block here in between the curly brackets and maybe including some kind of error message here to alert the user that something has gone wrong with the script. Once again that's something that's probably more important in terms of a stricter file system such as a Unix based file system.